Good morning. My name is David McKinley, and I serve the Central Schwenkfelder Church in Worcester, Pennsylvania. This past week, I lost a friend whose name was Darren Patrick. Darren and I had been separated for many years since our days at Southwest Baptist University. And Darren went on to plant a rather large church in St. Louis called the Journey Church, and then went and was a teaching pastor at Seacoast Church in South Carolina. He tragically passed away on May 7, 2020, and he dedicated his life to encouraging Christians and especially other pastors. His passing reminds me that being a pastor is a job that is vulnerable to discouragement. Tom Rayner, a church renewal authority, says that there are five consistent sources of discouragement for pastors, and they are the following. Members fighting with each other, criticism and bullying, comparisons to other churches and preachers, and the expectations of being everywhere and doing everything, and lastly, losing members. Darren dedicated his life to encouraging other pastors and I can't help but to think of First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11, which reads, Therefore encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. Paul uses those words in view of Jesus and his second coming and how we as Christians need each other. During the coronavirus containment, it brings to mind that it's very easy to be stressed out. It's very easy to be self-centered and to look at yourself as the center, whether then as God as the center and Jesus performing his work in and through you as a servant. So as you go about your business and as you interact with others, whether you're a pastor or whether you're a Christian or whether you're at your workplace, Always remember that your words are to be seasoned with grace, and God has called us to encourage one another. And may the Lord encourage you as you continue to live for him. God bless you.